Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Family Abroad. I'm Hi, Don. I'm Edith. And we want to talk to you today about Eos. Eos. We're in the beautiful island of Eos, only a 30, 40 minute ferry ride by from speed, Santorini. By the speed jet. The yes. speed ferry. So we, we get on and we, we, we just kind of want to ride in the bottom, but they won't let you do that. So we had to go up to our seats. By the time we got to the seats, we sat down for maybe 10 minutes and it was time to go back downstairs. <laughs> it was very quick. Yeah. I mean, we got to sit down for a few minutes. There was a lot of people. It was kind of chaotic. Chaotic. Yeah. They had, okay, uh, so you have yeah. to remember this ferry is not just going from Santorini to Eos. It's actually going to go from Santorini to Eos to Naxos to, I don't know, Mykonos and Athens eventually. I don't know exactly. Several. But they had all these stops, so you had to put your luggage in a certain area. We have video on that, too. I'm sure it'll be on part of our vlog, whether that will be part of the Santorini vlog or probably the EOS vlog. We'll have that. It was a little chaotic, but it was quick. Yes, but look. Look at this. It was totally worth it. Look at this sunset. Look at the view that we have. We are here recording from the Airbnb. And now, I, I, I like to say this is the, the sunset at half the price of Santorini. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's the it same. Just as beautiful. We have the same view. Well, we have the same view of the sunset. Pretty much at the same angle that we had from Santorini. We can actually see the island of Santorini from here. Yes. As well as some other islands around the area. And we have a beautiful view of the marina and the entire, you know, this whole area here in the harbor. So we have great views. I will say this is pretty incredible. The only bad thing about it is we're so high up that it's not easy to go down and then come back up. <laughs> no, and the town, I walked it today, but I mean, it probably take about 15 minutes to walk. And you're walking down and then back up, of course, a pretty, pretty good incline, decline. So you could, of course, do a taxi and you could rent a car if you wanted to, or you could rent a scooter. If it was just two of us, yeah, I probably would do that. But we have had a taxi. We went to the, to the little grocery store after. We did. We after we, we arrived in port. And as soon as we got to the house, we realized we, we need to go back to the mini market. Yes. Uh, we had a, a driver pick us up at the port, which is great. And they were so nice. They took us back into town and waited for us while we did, well, we did some the shopping. grocery shopping. Especially after surviving Santorini <laughs> and the expensive restaurants, we decided we were going to eat at home, you know, while we we're here. Yes. And so we have sandwiches and, and some meals and things like that. Yes. But it worked out really well. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, one grocery trip for the three days that we're going to be here was like one dinner at a restaurant in Santorini. So this was uh, definitely the way to go for us here. Yeah, you can't beat the views. No, the views are incredible. Yeah, it's just a very steep hike up to get here. And there are a couple of here. restaurants nearby. There's a pool, There's club, some resorts that we can nearby. go to. Now, Eos, the one thing they're really known for that we are not going to take advantage of, really, or <laughs> unless Natalie drags me out, is the nightlife. Yeah. So everybody hears about Santorini. Everybody hears about Mykonos. Mykonos is the party place. Mykonos is the nightlife where you're going to have all the, I guess, younger people having a yes. great time. Well, Eos is also known for that, too, but they are known more for the budget, backpacker type of, you know, partier. Yeah, affordable. It's affordable. more affordable. It's more, you know, budget-friendly. You still get the beautiful views. You get the beautiful town, the white houses. There's a couple of churches with the blue domes. Why don't you tell us right. about your walk today? Sure. I know you went and explored the town with Nathan. Now, one thing I did see while I was in town walking through, they have, you know, the pub crawls. They have all sorts of ways. You can take tours. I saw tours online that you can get if you want to go go see you know the nightlife yes. and have somebody with you probably that's gonna at least you have a contact maybe you don't feel so worried about going by yourself yeah or you know if you don't know where you're going so so nathan and i we did go for a walk today it was a very long walk it turned out to be 6.6 6.7 miles and i learned i surely know this but sometimes the shortest way is not always the best way yeah. because it was only 1.2 kilometers back the way i wanted to come but it was uphill almost the whole way and it was a, a lot of walking but the town itself okay so we walked down we walked along the shore here this is the largest port and if you go back and look at a video we did on, on Santorini actually we filmed it right on the other side of the house and it showed the port it's the largest natural port supposedly in the in all the Cyclades you know island chain yeah one thing that I noticed as we were driving up to the Airbnb is right in the harbor area you see the the beach there's a beach where you can go and and enjoy and one thing that, that I noticed is they actually had uh, some inclusions or uh, some areas that were kind of restricted for pedestrians so I asked our taxi driver and he told us that at night they actually have sea turtles coming and laying eggs on the beach and that's what that was so you know I think that's pretty awesome that they 
also have the sea turtles coming and laying their eggs and they're protecting them so that I, I think that would be so incredible to see too yeah the beaches were nice they we walked by them today uh they were totally empty in the morning i was gonna say they're so empty i mean we saw somebody this afternoon we can see several beaches from where we are and in one of them there was only two people there and two more people were arriving so i think this is a pretty good time to come yeah, visit yeah for sure it's still plenty warm enough to swim yes. it's nice the weather's been beautiful you can have a of course, the lounge chairs. Also, I noticed some of them had food and drinks that yes. they would, you know, bring to you. Mm -hmm. So it was a great, great uh, little place. Now, that's not the most popular beach. There's a more popular beach on the other side of town that uh, Nathan and I did not get to walk to. It would be a really long walk. I would definitely take a taxi to it. I can't remember the name of it, but it's very close to the town, but just on the other side. As far as renting something, the only place I really wanted to see and is Homer's the burial place of Homer, who wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey. Uh, I would really oh, like to see yeah. that. Now, they, they really don't know if he was buried here <laughs> his mom apparently was from the island he came to live here for a while but i would be i don't know it just seemed like a neat thing because yeah, yeah i never read those books but <laughs> but i know they're classics and i thought it'd be very interesting yeah. to read. i didn't notice on the map it's like on the other side of the island so it will be a pretty good drive for us if we were to go over there yeah now the walk itself uh, so we walked uh, past the beaches into to the port area they've got lots of restaurants there a few shops and of course the the ferry uh, offices are there as well and then we walked over to the church so there's a church and i don't have the names of the churches but the right when you come into the port on the right side it's this beautiful beautiful church yes. and it was gorgeous it was a great, gorgeous coming into the port and the name Nathan was able to get behind it and a little bit higher up. Took a beautiful picture yeah, from there. Yeah, we have some great pictures. So it's going to turn out really nice. Then we walked back. As we were coming back into the port area, a ferry was coming in. Now I remember how chaotic it was and people were everywhere. So I said, no, we're not going to do that. So we didn't follow Google Maps exactly. We walked <laughs> through, cut through. Oh my goodness, those steps. The, the Greeks have to be in such good shape. I mean, they must do it every day because <laughs> even the older people are doing it. And they make, yeah. you know, they're walking right by me. But it was uh, a lot of, it uh, seemed like uphill everywhere today. Yes. I uh, mean, I can, I can see why. <laughs> I mean, everything seems to be up higher, you know. <laughs> So we cut through the, the Ora, which is the capital here. It's spelled C-H-O-R-A, but I understand they don't pronounce the C. So I think it's Ora or Hora. I'm not sure which. And we walked through the town and we saw some of the bars, some of the nightlife. Of course, nothing was open. Really not that many people were out and about. That was around 8.30 in the morning. And then we had walked up to these beautiful churches. And I'm going to have to, we'll, we'll put the names of these at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. But there was... It was a main little church. Now, I will tell you something about the Greek Orthodox churches. They seem to put them in the most difficult places to get to, <laughs> the highest hills, the highest mountains, or the lowest you can get. Or just on the, the side trail. of, the, of so, the cliff, yes. you know. And they are gorgeous, for yes. sure. But uh, so this one was really pretty, had a little blue dome with a bell tower. And then above it, though, were three more churches. Wow. And they were very small, and you really couldn't see inside of them. One of them had like an icon or some kind of mural painted uh -huh. on the side. And then we went up to the top, and from there we could see where we were going to go at the end of the day, which was a bronze settlement Okay. from the Bronze Age. And so it was a great view from the top. So we went back down. We went. We missed a church, the main one, another one that you see from the port with the blue dome. With the blue with domes. Yeah, so that's in the old town, no? That's in the old yeah. town, and uh, you saw people sitting around and there were some restaurants oh, nice. we went to a great little bakery there we were hungry we um, had a sandwich and, nice. it, and it was it was very good it was it was great wait you ate out while we have all this food at home well, we didn't that have we got a sandwich. from the grocery store well, nobody got up to make me one and i didn't make it myself so um, you didn't pack I should a lunch have. You, but usually i do i mean i'm so good about that usually i do or when i go to work snacks. Yeah. yeah snack we didn't do any of that no, we, no. Did, we did have a big water which was not enough we oh, had to buy another big God. water while we were out and we probably still could drink another one yeah I because bet. from there we walked up toward the ruins and we went through a couple wrong turns uh-huh you have been frustrated with us but we made it and if you've seen our our video or watch our video about santorini yeah you'll know why yeah there's a reason why she didn't come with me on this trip it was just <laughs> nathan and i uh and it was a it was a lot of walking and it was like i said a lot of uphill so by this time it's starting to get hotter outside and we left the city behind went out kind of into the countryside yeah had some beautiful old stone fences like you see all over the place in yes. Croatia and here. And um, you could tell that they, they had probably some animals around, maybe goats or something. And we walked down this trail and 
it gets narrower and narrower, but it's pretty. And then we come around a corner, and there the ruins are right there. Wow. We go in. It was four euros each. I think he was half price because he was 16. It's, yeah. And so if you're from Europe, it's free at his age. Oh, that's nice. That was very nice. So we went in. We paid in, paid our money. There was a little room, um, a small room with three different pictures with mm-hmm. words and also, you know, pictures that, and words explaining it that told more about the civilization. It wasn't discovered until 1984. Oh, wow. Which I was very surprised wow, at. Wow, yeah. And so it's one of the fairly best. Fairly recent. Very recent. And it was excavated for maybe, I don't know, 12 years or so. They've only excavated about half of it. Oh. But what's amazing is that if you just look at it, it's hard to see. You have to use your imagination some because it's ruins for sure. Right, right. And they talk about how the rooms were built and how on the first floor we've been cooking. The second floor more like living, even some workspaces, like tool area. And they talk about a cemetery that they, they discovered, which apparently they don't normally excavate those, but they did, for partially at least, and they see where the adults are buried. The children were buried in, in jars. So I'm assuming they were the, maybe like young children that died, yeah. I'm not sure. And the ruins itself, the, the walls were only partially there, of course, only like right. three or four three feet high maybe at the most so it was good and you could get a little bit higher up above them so you could see down a little bit those streets were pretty wide where the streets would have been it was interesting i i'm glad i went yeah i would not probably take the kids there they would have been totally bored and unhappy yeah but or maybe we should be you know nathan went he actually enjoyed it maybe well maybe at a you know once they get into the teens they care more about the history that they're reading about. I will say Bethany does like reading about the history, but it's, it has to be something very captivating for her to actually be interested in reading, you know, right. the plaques. And unless we ask her to do it in a certain style or, you know, just give her a task and she'll do it. But other than that, I think the older kids will probably enjoy it. And so then we headed home from there and we had great views. We went a different path back home, which kept us, wow, it we kept on thinking it was going to start going down soon, but around every turn, it kept going up further and further. The good news is we didn't have to walk back up from the road. We came a back way. <laughs> oh, good. There's a back way. So we, we came that way, and it worked out, you know, pretty well. We took a ton of pictures and video. I think, you know, tomorrow we're going to go to the beach before yes. we leave town and head to our next destination. But Eos, I really liked it. It's very peaceful here. Yeah. I, I know people talk about the nightlife, but for us, we're away from town. It, it's been great for the family. It's been really nice. It's been very peaceful. I will say the views are incredible. Incredible. And, you know, you feel like you're the only one in the island. I mean, it's fairly quiet. We heard some noises because they're building, I think, a resort here. There's a pool club nearby or mm-hmm. something, and we could hear some music from that last yes. night. But it wasn't anything that right was... Right at sunset. Inside the house, we couldn't hear it. Outside, no. you could. And there's a hammock. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, our niece, Kathy's over there right now enjoying it. Uh, I laid out in it last night, looked at the stars. Yeah. And it was pretty amazing. Eos, I, I like this island a lot. Yeah. It seems really nice. And everybody, again, very friendly. We've encountered nothing but nice people. Very welcoming and very giving people here in Greece. It's been amazing. So our next stop we're going to be going to, the island tomorrow, we're going to Foligandros, which is even a smaller, I don't know if it's a smaller island, but I think it's a less known island. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of still from Santorini to Eos, goes to Naxos or, or Peros, which are the big islands. That's, yeah, that's where people head. Right. We're kind of taking a left and going yeah. to Foligandros and then to Milos uh, right. and Sifnos. So, um, so we're kind of taking a left, <laughs> you know, from Santorini. But uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, the beaches yes. are supposed to be amazing, uh, so we're looking forward to that. We are, yeah. We're doing a tour of, you know, as many islands as we can, and we're very excited to share all this with you guys. So. Yeah, and you know, that's usually different from what we do, the slow yes. travel, being in a place for a month at a time, so we're island hopping. So it's been different at a different pace as far as keeping up with schoolwork and yes. work itself. But it's been very rewarding as well. Right. Yeah. So I, I didn't go to on the hike today or the walk today, but I worked. So, you know, that's the trade-off. So stay tuned for our next island and for more stories, less stuff. That's right. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye. everybody.